Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A quick video, it's a help video on the Fire TV stick. I recently did this video right here. Now on this video, it's all about storage expansion. And I had a lot of people ask me, why would you want to expand storage? Well, it's very simple. Most people don't pay for DirecTV or Spectrum or any of those cable companies anymore. Everything is streamed. And if you have enough storage on your Fire TV stick, you can stream it through your Fire Stick pause and record live TV. Some really cool features, guys. If you wanna know more about that, make sure you join Patreon where I explain how to do all of that. I'll put a QR in the corner right here so you can go right to it if you want. But in today's video, I'm actually gonna talk about the expansion issue. So a few people did have some questions. It may not have worked for you, and there were three main reasons why it did not work. And in today's video, I'm gonna answer those three questions. So we're gonna get you up and running with extra storage on your Fire TV stick. Let's do it right now. All right, like I mentioned, there are three reasons why expanding storage on your Fire Stick might not have been successful for you after watching that video. I know a lot of people kind of skip through videos and they miss little, little important parts. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So the first thing, you wanna make sure you have the right device. So the, the Amazon Fire Stick has so many models. How do you decide which model to get? There's the Fire Stick third generation, there's the light, there's the 4K right here. You've even got a cube. Well guys, the thing about it is, is they created something called a 4K Max. Now the reason why they came out with this model over say the 2018 4K, really was because of expandability. So the ability to expand and access that storage internally. That's what they did. So can you add storage to your old Fire Stick 4K? Absolutely. I have a different video on that. This video, and it's a lot harder, to be honest with you, you're gonna need extra programming, all that. But this video I did recently was for the 4K Max. So first of all, these are on sale right now. They're like 25 bucks. Jump on it, grab one then you can expand storage. First mistake, using the wrong device, using an older Fire TV stick or maybe one of the cheap lights that were like 10 bucks. Get one like this, it's the 4K Max. All right, so we talked about the device that you need. Now let's talk about the common mistake when you are expanding storage. When I did that video, I showed you first the equipment you needed. Then second video was how to set it up and the third video that I did, third portion of that video, was how to set it up within the software on your actual Fire TV stick. So make sure you watch the whole thing beginning to end or you're gonna miss a step. So what equipment did you need? Well, you needed the Fire Stick, obviously. You needed an external hard drive and you needed a mission power cable. Uh, one of the issues that, mo well, the most common issue of all of them was this mission power cable. Some people didn't think they needed it. Well, you do, guys, and the reason why is when you start adding larger hard drives like this two terabyte drive right here, uh, it's gonna do a power draw. So what's gonna happen, is gonna take so much power that one of two things is gonna happen. Your Fire TV stick's either going to go into a boot loop. That's where it starts up, you get the logo, it shuts down. Maybe it'll run for a little bit and then you'll hear beeping from your hard drive and it will shut down. What's happening is your Fire TV stick is not able to get enough power from your regular plug and outlet because your drive is taking up too much space. So that's why you do need the mission power cable. And for those that did get the mission power cable, if you look at the cable right here, there is one important thing that a lot of people didn't pay attention to, and that's this little tag right here. And I did mention it in the video, but very briefly. So I'm gonna talk about this little tag right here. Super important, guys. Before you use this for the first time, you do have to charge it for 10 minutes because this right here stores power. So as it keeps recharging so that it sends the right kind of power to your Fire TV stick, whether you use the USB on your TV or the power outlet, you still need a mission power cable in order to do those bigger drives. So that could be a lot of the problems that you are having. Let's talk about the third reason. All right, so the third reason why is because of the drive you chose. I know that I put links in the description section of that video, but some people didn't see them. You do have to click the title of the video if you're using your cell phone or a tablet to get to the description section. But I showed you where you could get the Seagate two terabyte drive. Super important that you use that. Guys, I've tried a lot of drives. I've tried an SSD drive, which I loved. I love this drive right here, but it's not compatible with a Fire TV stick. And a lot of thumb drives aren't either because, for example, I know quite a few people saw this link and saw it was like, I think 80 bucks or something. And then you saw a two terabyte thumb drive for like 20 bucks and thought, let's just get that. Well, it's not compatible. It's not a compatible drive format. And so what happened is it wasn't working for you. I did the research guys, I tested a bunch of drives. I went out and tested probably 40 drives over the course of about two years. Um, since they came out with the 4K Max and even before that, 
and I found that the Seagate Slim is the lowest power drive on the larger drives. Now you could use any, pretty much any thumb drive under 64 gigs, but when you get bigger, you got another issue. That's why if you want larger than 64 gigabytes, I would recommend getting the Seagate drive. The biggest mis one of the biggest mistakes was getting the wrong drive. So getting the wrong drive, not pre-charging or purchasing the Mission Power Cable, and not using the 4K Max Fire Stick are the three reasons why it doesn't work. Guys, if you do everything I did in that video, follow along everything. And again, this is the video right here. Super important that you click that icon, and I will put a link to that video down in the description section and the top comment of this video as well, as well as links to all of this stuff to make sure you get the right thing. Guys, I wanna make sure everybody has the opportunity to expand storage like I did right here. As you can see, this isn't movie magic. This is, I did have a two terabyte hard drive. In fact, I have it on most of my fire sticks in my house because I do pause and record live TV. Super important. TV Mate's a great program. If you don't have it, make sure you get it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Don't comment doesn't work because guys, it does. I did it. You can do it too. There's no reason you can't if you follow our instructions. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.